Hey guys, what is going on? Irish here. Um, the last few days I've been playing with a pretty cool little program. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. Uh, it's called Cube Browser. So Cube Browser, if those who don't know, is a web browser based strictly on Vim control binds. So this is the main website. Uh, it's cutebrowser.org. Uh, it's right down here and then we are just in the quick one so the cool thing about this is granted you can use your mouse but uh, this is strictly keyboard uh, keyboard driven so to go down uh, you would just do the J to go up it's the K and then if you had different ones then you can go left and right so if we go big J. Okay, let's uh, open up a few more tabs. So to open up a new tab, it would be uh, big O. And then we'll just say, let's go to Arch Linux. So up here, as you can see, there's now two tabs open. One's for Arch Linux. The other one is the key browser. So to go back and forth, which would be J and then L. Oh, sorry. So it would be, if you're here, J and K. Big K. So J, K. So to delete this one, all you would do is delete, and it say you wanted to undo it. You, Okay, nothing to undo. But you would say U for undo. Uh, I believe it's um, here for undo closing a tab. I uh, don't know why I didn't do that. So um, the cool thing about this is again, say you wanted to go to a different website, uh, then you would go O. Uh, we'll just say we'll go to Google. So I'm in uh, the main page for Google, and then say I wanted to search for something here. Uh, it would be you would have to. If you started typing, nothing would happen. Well, except for that. But you would have to go into insert mode, just like in Vim. So you would say I, or you could say F, and then the yellow boxes are well, what are known as hints. So you would just do KK. For the search and then you are in insert mode and then you can just say browser and then say you wanted to open one of these links uh, say F again and then HA for the cute browser in the arch wiki so you wanted to go back in history you would be uh, shift H or this big H and then say you wanted to do images you do JH and then and then you could go down here uh, say you want to open up J so you want to open up uh, this one right here it would be JS and then KJ so it's just uh, it's a neat handy thing um, but again, you can use your mouse if you wanted to. Uh, and then say, let's uh, go uh, search for like, uh, since I'm from Chicago, we'll do Chicago wallpapers. And then we'll do this one. Um, we'll do JD. And then say we wanted to do uh, this one here. Do JG. 
And then if you wanted to download this, um, I, I've been playing with this just a little bit, but I'm just going to left click on the mouse and save image. So now you can determine which one you want to do this. So then you can just say pictures, then hit OK. And then if you're up here, it will give you the countdown. So now if we go into the pictures folder, you're going to see what we downloaded. which would open up again. Um, so let's just go back. So yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um, now, there are different... Uh, let's go back and go into the Arch Wiki here. So there is definitely cool search options. So say you wanted to do the... Um, wiki for the arch wiki uh, we'll go into where the config file is so it would be vim config uh, we'll just go in there config slash q browser so now you have your bookmarks your keys so we'll go into the keys just to show you uh, I'm this is definitely uh, definitely uh, configurable so it's set to command um, it just tells you all of this and you can change this so we'll just quit and we'll go into the cutebrowser.conf so show you how extensive this is so this is um, let's go to the top so you can just see how many lines there are there's over 1,500 lines in this. And then you can, uh, the default uh, search option is DuckDuckGo, but you can um, change that. Um, but I, I usually just do most of this uh, default except for the start page. It does start you off at the cutebrowser.org, uh, so you can change that. Um, you can auto search. Uh, the editor is just GVim. Um, yeah, it's definitely very extensive. Um, show you where uh, you can change your zooms. So, so if we go back here, you go and then minus plus. So you can increase it and decreasing by hitting the plus and minus sign up on the top of the keyboard but again that is configurable so if you have a bigger um, monitor size you can make it like 125 or whatever all the way up to 500 percent if you wanted to um, so I, once again there's I don't really touch a lot of this uh, as you can see a lot of it is still common out um, you can change your time path, download path suggestion. Um, you can make a, a default for it. You can do your mouse zoom. Um, so you can have plugins, but they are off by default. I'm trying to find where that is. So yeah, download, uh, hit directory, you can set it there. Um, so yeah, it's very extensive. I'm trying to get to where it is. I'll just search. So right here, as you can see, it's the DuckDuckGo. So right underneath here is where you would uh, put in the Arch Wiki. But I do this a little differently. Um, I'll just say Arch Wiki equals and then we'll go down here, go here, paste that in there, and then I just say aw equals dollar sign bracket 
arch wiki, close bracket, and then while I'm still in here, I'll do the Google. So I just say Google equals, and then just copy this in there. And once again, same thing, I just say G equals uh, dollar sign, bracket, Google, close. And then we'll just save this. So we'll close this out, <clears throat> reissue it. And then say you wanted to, if this was not your, say, well, let's go to uh, the Linux distro page. So say you wanted to search for Qt browser, so you'd hit O for open, G, and then Qt browser. And then this would immediately go right into a Google search. Uh, same thing with the Arch Wiki. You would do open AW. Uh, we'll do something different, say KDE. And this would open up the Arch Wiki here. Uh, if you wanted to do, say, the any other wiki, uh, most likely, it's like the Gentoo wiki, you would uh, change it uh, from archlinux.org to whatever the uh, main site is for, like Debian, Gentoo, stuff like that. So one more thing uh, that I was going to try to do, I was unable to do this in the uh, in Gentoo because I needed to um, recompile the Qt WebKit and as currently right now it there's a bunch of compile errors it does work on a blue moon but uh, right now uh, there is no way uh, so if we go back say we go into YouTube There's no way to play the. Uh, uh, we'll just go. Okay, so AHK. So there's no way to play this. So there is a. Uh, what are known as binding your keys to certain things. So since I have MPV installed and YouTube downloader, uh, what you can do is, uh, these are for the semicolons, so what you're going to do is colon bind, um, is it K hint links MP spawn MPV bracket hint dash URL. I believe that's what it is. So now if I hit, uh, so if you look down here, I'll hit the semicolon, and then right here is the key. Um, so we'll try this X, and then we'll say H. It should open up, but yeah, I've been unable to get it to go. Show you where it is in the cube. Oh, there it goes. So it does open up, but it is extremely delayed. Uh, and the audio and the video are off from what it looks like. So I was unable to get that to work in. Uh, Gen 2, so that was interesting uh, that it worked just now. So um, I will leave you guys the link in the description below on um, on the Qt browser, just in case you wanted to test this out. Uh, I'm trying to learn more of the Vim keys, so I'm trying to get as many uh, applications as I can to help me with the Vim controls because I'm very uh, I only 
uh, have very basic knowledge of it. So, as you can see, all the uh, people who uh, who uh, write this code for it is really cool, and it just tells you exactly why the person who started it uh, what is cute why uh, so why they uh, did it in the first place so again I'll leave you uh, the description the uh, link in the description below uh, and if you guys have any other topics you want me to cover uh, please put those in the description below too or uh, down in the comment section and I will catch you guys later